Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to cover three ways of typing equation in Microsoft Word. You can see all these three ways and select the one which suits you better. Uh, it also includes the way by which you can type equations in Word which is similar to LaTeX. If you want to learn that, that will be the third way which is the best way if you have typed lot of equations. So if you want to learn all these ways, if you want to see what are the ways and which suits you better, please watch this video till the end. Okay, let's start. The first way of inserting equation or typing equation in Microsoft Microsoft Word is by using GUI. In this method, you just have to go to Insert tab. This is a Microsoft Word. You just have to go to Insert tab and then click on Equations. It is very simple way, and this is the way that most of the people who just occasionally type equations uses this method. You just have to click Equations, and you will get this equation in data box. And from this menu, actually, you, you can select all these things. Okay, these are the symbols, fractions, radical, integral, large operator. All these things you can see. But what happens is for each and everything you have to just switch between mouse and keyboard which takes a lot of time especially if you have to type a lot of equations okay i'll just show you how to type now let us say i have to type equation of area of circle okay so area of circle for this what i'll do is i'll go area of circle is equal to pi for pi i need to again go to design and from there i will need to see the symbol of pi okay if i don't get here this is how i get it here pi into r square pi r square for r square i'll just go to script r and it's square so this is how you generally type equations by using gui but actually it takes a lot of time because you have to switch between mouse and keyboard regularly and it is time consuming and boring too it is very easy and it is very user friendly if you are new to this equation edit, new to typing equation or if you are using it very less or occasionally then maybe you can use this way so this is this was the first way of typing equation in microsoft word second way new way that microsoft word have actually included it is actually like scribbling pad i'll just show you instead of just giving you a lot of description what i'll do is i'll go to insert and click on this equation tab and from this i will select ink equation so select ink equation this, sorry, this kind of uh, will come and what you have to do is you just have to scribble it and microsoft word will automatically try to detect what you have written and then convert it into equation suppose i want to write the same thing a of circles so what i'll do is i'll just i have a mouse with me and type a and then c i r c l E equal to pi r square. I have a mouse and having a lot of control over mouse is not easy and it catches a lot of error. Like area of circle, I have written circle here, it is detecting something else. There are ways to correct it. To select and correct, I can select something and correct it. It is, I can say it is r okay i can select this thing and i can say it is l it is a given option of l okay l will correct it afterwards this is r now i can select and correct it okay this is not comma this is r actually now it is not showing okay i'll just correct it afterwards okay. C L and this is r so the second way of writing uh, equation in Microsoft Word. This is actually good if you have a touch screen or stylus with you. Otherwise, with mouse, that kind of control is very difficult. Also, a painful job to scribble it with, with mouse. So this is the second way that you can try. Especially if you have a touch screen PC or a stylus with you, you can try this. The third way of typing equation is by using my auto correct. Actually, I've seen a lot of people using LaTeX for uh, typing equation. But they say that LaTeX is more very easy to type equations in latex so many people use equation uh, latex for equation because if you have to write a complicated equation or a large number of equations you will not prefer to use the first way or the second way but microsoft word has inbuilt feature which is very much like latex most of the people don't know it saves a lot of time if you have a lot of equations so let's start with this now this first shortcut is not necessarily for equation using my auto pressing alt and equal to simultaneously will give you an equation editor okay i just pressed alt and equal to and this is how i get equation editor no need to go to insert tab and then click on equations there are two modes in which you can use this equation editor this mode is in line with equation in the middle of text suppose i want to hear equation here 
just press alt equal to this is an inline mode and i just try to buy using a shortcut method so this is an inline mode the second one is a new line mode if i want to write an equation entirely on a line what i can do is i can go on a new line and press alt equal to this is same as equation editor but it gives equation editor at the center of the line sometimes depending on your choice depending on the context you can use inline mode on a new line mode typing fraction also is very easy typing fractions you need not go to in a design in equation and then go to insert it is very easy what you can do is just go to equation editor alt equal to i want to type 1 by 2 i'll just type 1 by 2 and press space sp in a square bracket a represent space if the space is very important you're using auto correct in equation editor for this kind of equation you just have to type by two in curly braces getting fraction in the denominator you just have to use this kind of thing this is very simple and intuitive you can just have a try